Now, don't freak out, but I want to show you something. We had a lot of rain last night, and I can see that the water is up to my compost bin in the back. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and welcome back to my meadow. Today I'm just going to share a short clip of what's happened around the creek and the garden after this huge storm we had last night. Let's take a look. I'm going to step lively here. I haven't walked out here yet, but I did watch this on camera last night as it did what I call a river runs through it. Right there is my little camera I've been using to watch the animals walk through. And the water was higher than this, so it's already gone down a couple of inches. I was pretty sure, I was pretty sure I was gonna lose that camera last night. We got a couple of inches rain in a very short period of time. And this creek that I live on is part of a bigger system. This will probably mostly recede today. It's one of the reasons I'm really grateful for the slope in my yard. I get all this beautiful nature, but I'm also protected from stuff like this. I mean, it would have to get a lot worse for this to come up to the house. I mean, there's still another, if you look from back here, it's hard to see what the slope is, but it's a solid slope. From where I'm standing to where the house is, is at least two more feet up, probably closer to two and a half feet if you go to the top of the patio. And during the garden tours, this is the spot where I normally come back and show you all the creek. This is my little spot I like to fish in. It's probably up six feet right here. But it's doing what it's supposed to do. This is a watershed. This is how it's supposed to be. I'm not worried or scared. I mean, the water is moving. It's not stagnant. But the water has already receded a good bit. Even this morning, I was waiting for daylight to come out. But if I back up and show you the ground, it is very likely that we had water to right here. So it's already receded many feet back. We're not in any danger, so I don't want you to freak out. We're in good shape where we are. But I just wanted to share with you what it's like living on a watershed. Everything looks good. I'm going to do a full garden tour this weekend, but just really quickly, even with all the rain, I'm basically just sloshing. I am going to have to get some more mulch up here, though. It's starting to wash this all out, so I need to get that cleaned up. My trellis held up. Hooray. I mean, when I say it was raining, it was hard. Like, I couldn't sleep. It was raining so hard. The monarch caterpillars are no worse for the wear. It's like they didn't even know it rained. The rain probably knocked off some of the aphids off of here, which would be great. The zinnias have continued to fall over. I've been trying to cut them back a little bit, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Oh well, that's okay though, it's still looking good up here. I've been grabbing seed heads. And a quick peek into the ditch tells me that things are moving like they should. We don't have very much standing water here. And in fact, no standing water in the street either. So yay, good, good, good stuff. Last place I like to check after a storm is right out here by the banana circle. And we don't have any relative standing water when I first moved in and built part of my garden, 
before I built the banana circle, this would have still had water on it and it would have gone all the way over to my neighbors. I can see we did have some standing water. If we look down at the bottom of the border around the bananas, we did have some standing water, but it has already receded, gone into the bananas, moved down the French drain, soaked into the ground. And for the first time, one of the cats finally used this cat house we have out here to help keep them out of the weather. So we were very happy to see them go in there last night and get protected because while they are outdoor cats, we still want them to be safe. I will be back this weekend with a full tour, but I wanted to show you what's growing or flowing on here at the meadow. Until next time, my friends, remember to wear a high quality sunscreen and drink plenty of water. Have a fantastic day.